Start first and foremost by appreciating God Almighty for this opportunity for us to be here today and to thank every member that was here throughout our deliberations. Uh, I want to thank the ECOWAS for standing fast for democracy and that is what we stand for and that is what we plan for and that is what we will sustain. I, on behalf of the members of the Nigerian Armed Forces, uh, appreciate the just most recent uh, chairman of the Chief of Defense Staff of ECOWAS countries. For a I want to thank him for his commitment, his sacrifice. Uh, I know it took him so long for him to be able to get here, but he was determined to be here in person. We appreciate you and we thank you for your commitment. Uh, I assure you from where you stopped, we'll continue to build on it until we have total peace in ECOWAS, in ECOWAS region. Uh, to all the members, I want to appreciate you. I've seen your love, your commitment to ECOWAS and to the success and development of the entire region. Uh, I show you of my commitment that will continue to foster unity, progress in whatever it is and whatever it takes for us to succeed. Uh, to the Honorable Sec, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Defense, the Commissioner, I want to say thank you for all your support that you have made this very possible. Uh, we're sure from our deliberations uh, we'll be able to achieve so much. Uh, we are giving windows of opportunity for those who have erred to come back home. Democracy is what we need and democracy is what we stand for. Uh, so permit me to continue with my uh, speech for today. It has been an honor to preside over this extraordinary meeting on the occasion, recent situation of the recent coup in the Nigeria Republic as the President of the Honorable Committee of the Chief of Defense Staff of Equal States. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each of you for your insightful contributions, thoughtful deliberations, and unwavering commitment to the cause of peace and stability in our region. Throughout our discussions, we have collectively recognized the gravity of the situation and the urgent need for a well-coordinated response. Deliberations have been marked by a spirit of unity, cooperation, and determination to address the challenges at hand. We have examined the immediate implication of the coup in the, in the in Niger Republic and its potential ripple effects across the ECOWAS region. We have also deliberated on the broader implication for democracy, peace, and stability in West Africa. I'm pleased to note that our discussions have yielded valuable insights and actionable recommendations. We have acknowledged the need for a comprehensive approach that encompasses political, security, and diplomatic approach dimensions. It is imperative that we translate our deliberations into concrete actions that effectively address the crisis and prevent a reoccurrence in the future. ECOWAS will not be used for coups. Democracy is what we stand for and democracy is what we sustain. Firstly, we must emphasize the importance of holding democratic principles and the rule of law. The coup in the Nigeria Republic will represent a blatant disregard for these fundamental principles that underpine our regional integration and stability. We must unequivocally condemn such actions and demonstrate our unwavering commitment to democracy. Secondly, we must strengthen our regional security architecture and enhance our collective response to security challenges. The coup in the Republic of Niger has highlighted the fragility of our region and the need for a robust and proactive security fire framework. We must enhance intelligence sharing joint training exercises and capacity building initiative among our defense and security forces to effectively combat threats to our collective security and enhance interoperability. Thirdly, we must intensify our diplomatic efforts to engage with all relevant stakeholders. Dialogue and negotiations should be at the forefront of our approach in resolving the crisis in the Republic of Niger. I'm happy that has been done and that has been carried out. We must engage with the transitional authorities, civil society organizations, and other key actors to foster an inclusive and peaceful transition process. However, it is crucial to recognize that the success of our deliberation depends on the implementation of the recommendations as we have formulated. We must ensure that decisions taken here today are not mere rhetorics, but are transformed into tangible actions on the ground. To this end, I call upon each member state to take ownership of the agreed upon measures and work diligently to implement them towards finding solutions to the situation in the Republic of Niger. We must strengthen our coordination mechanisms within the ECOWAS framework. The ECOWAS Committee of Chiefs of Defense Staff should continue to serve as a platform for regular 
engagement, information sharing, and joint planning. We must leverage our collective expertise and resources to address emerging security challenges promptly. Let us remember that the success of this meeting will not be measured by the words spoken here today, but by the actions we take tomorrow and in the days to come. Let us seize this opportunity to make a lasting impact and ensure that the Republic of Niger and the entire Kwa region can progress on the path of democracy, peace, and stability. I urge you all to prioritize the implementation of recommendations that have been put forth during our deliberations. This requires a concerted effort and a sense of urgency. We must allocate the necessary resources, engage relevant stakeholders, and monitor progress to ensure that our decisions have a tangible impact on the ground. In conclusion, I would like to express my gratitude once again to each and every one of you for your active participation and valuable contribution to this extraordinary meeting. Your dedication to the cause of peace and stability in our region is commendable, and I'm confident that together we can overcome the challenges we face. As we depart from this meeting, let us carry, us, carry with us a renewed sense of purpose and a commitment to translating our words into action. We have come, we have deliberated, we have engaged. We have taken decisions and we're going to forward to our principles for final decision. Thank you for your unwavering commitment and I look forward to our continued collaboration as we work together to address the challenges before us. May our efforts yield a brighter and more prosperous future for all of us. Thank you and God bless you all.